How's it going guys? Today we have a ranked singles team here for you again. Petri Zacian with the Intrepid Sword uh, ability and then holding the Rusted Sword. Basically we'll turn into Steel Fairy and get an attack boost upon switching. We also have Mimikyu or two fairies here which is eh. We got our Shifu, you've seen it. Focus Sash. Um, have powered in with the Citrus Berry and the Sandstream. So that's a Sandstorm. Um, it's a good lead with Yawn and Protect. And then it also has Earthquake and Stone Edge. Stone Edge for coverage, Earthquake for stab. We got Hydrogen with the Choice Specs, a good overall coverage. And we got Celestella with similar coverage, um, Annoyance, uh, Bulk. And I, well, I guess I should say Max HP, Max Special Attack. Um, and that's it. Guys, that's the team. Now, I believe this team's coverage is very good according to that team type calculator that we went over in a few videos ago. Um, but, eh, it's a little weak to fire. Kind of. It's a little weak to uh, um, steal as well. But we have workarounds for that. Uh, that's the team, guys. Hey, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I feel like we're putting out some pretty good content, but let me know. I want some feedback and uh, drop some teams down, guys. I want to know what you guys are using. Um, maybe you got a rental code for me. You want to see me use it on the channel. That'd be awesome. Drop it down below with a little description on uh, kind of what the team chemistry is and what you kind of do with that team. And uh, we'll try and get it on the channel. I think that'd be really fun. Um, always looking for feedback. Maybe you have a suggestion. Hey, Scar Chomp, uh, build a team around Mewtwo. Okay, I'll see what I can do, you know? Drop that down below in the comments. Um, and don't forget to like the video if you like it. Other than that, guys, let's jump into those battles. Okay, guys. A little bit of an interesting team here. I think we can lead Hydrogen. Um, our opponent's got an interesting team, right? I'm scared of that Zap Dose a little bit. But I don't want to bring uh, Hippowden because of their Caillou Rim. They're obviously bringing Caillou Rim. And... Uh, we have a very good matchup with uh, Zacian. And so we want that going on for us here. Ooh, we got the ice. Okay, so they're going to be setting up screens more than likely. We got a good lead here, though. Not a really good lead. There should be no reason Choice Specs Dark Pulse doesn't do, doesn't KO it. I mean, this thing's pretty bulky, but uh, I think it should KO. Oh, never mind. It's got a berry. Okay. I can get behind that. That should still do a lot. Wow, that berry. Maybe that wouldn't have KO'd. And it goes for the on here. Now, if it's Protect Yawn, yawn that's super annoying. I'm going to stay in. I'm not that worried about it yet. Alright, here comes the Dark Pulse. I don't want to set up screens or anything. Alright, we take them out. Uh, interesting lead, right? So they knew what we were going to do. Sure, Hydrogen's asleep. That's fine. That's whatever. We took out the lead, and they didn't get any screens up or anything like that. We've got Choice Scarf, or Focus Sash, or Shifu, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay, guys. Um, I obviously have the Stab Draco Meteor. That would be great to... Oh yeah, Specs only allows us to use Dark Pulse. Yeah, whatever. We do outspeed until after this Dragon Dance here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm going for the Dark Pulse, Dark Pulse again. I'm going to go for the Icicle Spear. Can't say that's a bad play. Are they life orb? No life orb. Alright, now it's interesting, right? Do we go into Zacian and Behemoth Blade? I almost think we have to. We're not going to outspeed. I don't see Urshifu KOing. I just don't. Alright, here we 
here comes that behemoth blade. Now, I don't know what its speed stat is, but I think our speed's like... Okay, they actually withdraw. And going to Incineroar, this is a good play. That's a fair play. Alright, so that's not very effective. Play Rough is just effective. I don't think we have enough to KO. I'm going to go into Urshifu here. And I know that potentially breaks the Sash, but he seems scared of Zacian. He seems scared. Oh, and we should just eat this Flare Blitz. I'm going to go for the Close Combat because I'm predicting them to swap. And I think we should pick up a win here, guys. I think withdrawing is a mistake on our opponent's part. They lost their Dragon Dance. And this should do a lot of damage. This should be super effective. Yeah, we just one-shot Kyura himself. Bad play by our opponent. Um, the crit probably mattered in KOing, but overall we're faster. Right? If, uh... Well, I guess that's not guaranteed, but I think that thing's in the 150s for speed. And we actually... Uh, our opponent quits. So, there's that. I'll tell you what, guys. This is a tough one. I like Celestella. Mimikyu has Wood Hammer. Do we leave Zacian at home? I really don't want to. I feel like we almost have to. It does have Fire Fang, though. We'll see. We'll see, guys. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be real interesting. To say the least. Alright, and our opponent leads the Tapu, which I kind of felt like, um, man, I didn't really explain the team very well. I thought this was a potential lead, and, uh, just kind of based on what is out there, I think we're going to go with Celestella. Now, depending on what they switch into here, I think we're just going to go for the Flash Cannon. Um, it'll do neutral damage. And really, we should probably Dynamax, if I'm being honest. Yeah, they're going to withdraw. I guess we could have gone for the lead C. I was worried of Trick. And they go to Zapdos. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good draw. Here's the thing. Does Leech Seed really garner me much? I don't think it does. I would just rather get an attack off. Um, yeah, Zapdos is kind of a problem. I wish we had... Goes for the Bolt Switch here. Oh, that's a good play. Probably didn't expect me to stay in. The crit sucks, for sure. We'll see what they go into. Uh, probably back into... Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Well, we can't get a burn. Um, yeah, that doesn't do much. Quite frankly, it did a little more than I thought it would. I guess we should have gone for the Leech Seed turn one, but they, like I said, they have the... Uh, we'll go for it here. Goes for Taunt. Oh. Alright, he's got our number. Alright, well, we're getting some HP back.
I'm just gonna go for the flash cannon again because it did do good damage, right? It did do some pretty decent damage. They go for the reflect here. I can't say that's a bad play. Um, quite frankly, that's gonna be problematic. Um, there's no way it's light. Uh, there's no way it's light play. I would be half tempted. And Dynamaxing. But I think they might say, ah, whatever. Yeah, here comes uh, Zapdos, which we're not going to be able to get faster than. That's too bad. But we'll stall out a turn here. Now we do potentially survive a, uh... That did good damage to Zapdos, really. I'll tell you guys the truth. Now we get a little bit of lefties back. Alright, the mist is gone. I'm gonna go for the max guard, because I have a feeling they're gonna Dynamax. I have a feeling, and really what we're trying to do here is uh, shake off turns of Reflect. The question is how fast... There's the Dynamax, like we predicted. So that was a good, that was a good deal there. Well, I could have roosted. That actually wouldn't have been a bad play either. How fast is... Tapu. How fast can it be? No, it's not Choice Scarf. 150 max speed, okay. Alright, so we're pretty positive there's no way we're surviving. Definitely not now. But what we did do was waste out their Dynamax. At this point, guys, I'm half tempted to save Celestella. Because I don't think... Mimi, well, let's uh, let's stay in here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yo, we knew this was coming. This isn't a surprise. Yeah, bye, Cell Stella. I don't think we wasted our Dynamax. I think we played it pretty well. I'm kind of surprised by their uh. Okay, there goes the Reflect. That's what we wanted. Alright, and now Mimikyu's got a chance to hit rather hard with a Play Rough. We actually outspeed, which is pretty interesting, until it eats this. Well, that Wiki Berry did a lot. And it goes for Roost. Okay, but now that I know that I outspeed, I'm going to go for Sword Stance. Just so we can do some good damage here. I guess we should have gone for the Sword Stance right away. Okay, Volt Switch, that's fair. As long as they don't go into their restricted Pokemon, hopefully this is back into their Moonblast friend. It sure is. Okay, little do they know that we have Woodhammer. 
And we're ready to unleash that. We should be faster. It's not choice card. Here comes that wood hammer. Boom! Now we are going to take some uh, recoil, but that's fine. Oh, and a rocky helmet. Alright, news to us. Like I said, it's fine. Mimikyu doesn't care much. Alright, now they're going to bait the uh, um, weakness policy, and I do not want to fall for that. I do not want to activate this weakness policy yet. We do outspeed. Play rough misses. That was hopefully to get the attack drop. And that's probably going to be game, guys. That's probably going to be game. We really needed that attack drop. We'll go for the Shadow Sneak here. I know it's weakness policy. Everyone and their mom knows. Watch its life hold. Well, that actually did a lot. Hey, it's not weakness policy. Crap. Alright, this move looks insane. See you, Mimi Q. I guess we should have waited and Dynamaxed Mimi Q, guys. Alright, Zacian is our last, and our opponent probably knows that. We do carry the Fire Fang. No clue. If it's going to be enough, but it, we're probably not going to get there. Oh, we actually do outspeed. But it doesn't matter. Here comes the Sun Seal Strike. That's going to be game. Zacian does survive, so this isn't quite game, guys. This is the only move that is effective. Okay, I really suspected we should have lost that one. Here we are. We outspeed even after Dragon Dance, so that must mean it's max attack and not max speed. Alright, so Zapdos does not like a play rough. Psychic Fangs is 100%. Oh, yeah, we need stab here. Play rough hits. Oh, is it Focus Sash? Wow. You're going to tell me we lose that on 1 HP? Holy cow, guys. Okay. I'm not 100% sure how we're going to play through this team. But I like a cell style lead because I can see them going for the uh, Nine Tails. Um, and Steel will be times four super effective. If they go for the Landorus, we counter that pretty well. If they go for the Cinderace, well, we'll just sack it. Um, and uh, basically everything they lead, we have good matchups in one, two, three, four leads. I think that is pretty worthy. I think Yoshifu comes because they're pretty physical oriented. And then Zacian is gonna have to come to be our sweeper here. So we're probably going to Dynamax our uh, um, ooh, Celestella, because Urshifu Dynamax doesn't really do much good for us. Alright, and it is a Landorus lead. which we really don't care too much about. Honestly, I might go for a Leaf Seed. Because I would expect them to swap out. They don't really have anything they can hit us with. Can't hit us with their stab move. Flying is not very effective. Um, and we rendered their Intimidate useless, which is always really good. So they stay in and go for the Neutral Stone Edge. Um, it actually does a lot on a crit. I feel like there have been crits all over the board lately. 
fortunately for us, we should get enough of this back um, between the leftovers and the leech seed. That's exactly what we needed. All right, I'm gonna go for a flash cannon just because it's our strongest stab move, and they withdraw. I can't say I'm surprised there. Uh, but this is not a good withdrawal for them. This is going to be super effective. And we get a special defense drop. At this point... I'm kind of thinking we Dynamax, but I'll hold off. for the Thunderbolt, but it can't KO. Xerneas cannot KO with the Thunderbolt. And we're going to take out their main sweeper threat, which is always great to do, guys. Always great to do that. And we're going to boost our special attack here. Alright, in comes Landorus. Now I'm half tempted here. Let's see. How much did it do that first time? I'm half tempted to Dynamax. And then, uh. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Sludge misses. That is awesome. This might KO. No, never mind. I'm a fool. Now I'm kind of tempted to Dynamax, but uh, definitely still not worth it. Especially when we have Rashiku who can just come in and do what he needs to do. Oh, and we avoid the attack again. Really unfortunate for our opponent here. They're probably throwing their controller. Um, but hey, that's what you get when you run 80 um, accuracy moves. That's why I run Flamethrower and things like that. I don't want to lose a match because of it. I think we were in a pretty good position, though. This has got to be Cinderace. Yep, that's kind of what I thought. Uh, we'll go for the Air Slash. They're gonna... They're just gonna go for a Pyro Ball. I guess what we could have done is Dynamax, Max Guarded, we would have wasted two turns. Ah, it's not worth it. We should have, though. Well, this is actually not uh, G Max here. Alright, so I think Zacian is a good play here, because we're faster. He has not raised his speed yet. Um, I think the mistake would have been going to Urshifu, because he could have max airstreamed, taking us to one health, and then if the counter doesn't KO, then Cinderace is faster than Zacian, and that's a problem. Alright, Psychic Fangs has 100% accuracy, but I think we need to go for the play rough. And we hit! And down goes Cinderace. All right, guys, it's just, just as easy as that. Just avoid two uh, stone edges. I think we still would have been okay. And we'll pull off a win there. Okay, guys, so there's the battles with this uh, pretty fun Zacian team. Um, there's a lot of ways you can run it and uh, play with it. Um, I like... Honestly, I like every Pokemon on this team. I don't think there was one that kind of stood out. Obviously, Zacian is really good. 
Um, and what, what that allows you to do is really have a strong, restricted Pokemon, and then also be able to Dynamax another Pokemon. So that's uh, kind of big in some cases. Now, maybe we don't have the best uh, Pokemon to Dynamax. Maybe you want to bring a uh, Moxie Sweeper to dy kind of Dynamax with. That way you kind of got two Sweepers. Um, but, I mean, there's ways to play around that and stuff like that. But uh, overall, I think the team's pretty fun. Um, we did pretty good with it. I think we went 3-1 and one overall, which makes for a pretty good team. Um, we were beating some uh, high-level opponents there on the ranked ladder. No, I'm definitely in the top uh, 5,000. So this team is uh, no slouch as far as uh, beating opponents goes. Um, but, yeah, guys, that is the team. And uh, we'll kind of leave that there, the rental code's there, definitely check that out. Um, but other than that, let me know uh, what you guys think of the videos, how they're doing, what more you want to see from this channel. Uh, like I said uh, in the beginning, if you have a rental code that you want me to try, drop it down below in the description and we'll give it a try. Um, it may even end up on the channel here. So uh, other than that guys, check out Battle Stadium Singles on Reddit, uh, last stuff going on there, and uh, I'll drop in from time to time. And we'll go from there, thinking about getting a Twitter going up. Uh, Probably gonna start streaming that Nuzlocke, um, so we'll see. Maybe Fridays or Saturdays around nine or ten o'clock um, at night. We'll see. I'm kind of a night owl, but uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, all the subs, super awesome. Um, and we'll go from there. We'll catch you in the next video.